Hey everybody, Spencer here with Auction Preview number one. We're just gonna get right to it this time. I'm going to probably do longer videos. I'm gonna try and show you every single piece in this auction over the next five videos. So let's just get right to it. Again, most of this is just because I want you to have some perspective as to size. Edna Boyce Hopkins, beautiful piece, not signed, but there's her cipher right down there. Then you go to Herbert Fink. Rhode Island School of Design. He went there and Yale and also taught at both places. Helen Stein, great, lovely piece identified by this on the bottom. It came with uh, a bunch of other pieces by Helen to our consigner. Beautiful Nano de Groot. Doesn't get much better than this. Okay. And they don't come up often either. This is this Provincetown School. It's just a nice little shack. Great color, old, early 20th century. Greta Allen, beautiful. Again, make sure you're reading the descriptions. Make sure you're looking at the sizes. Make sure you're looking at the signatures. John Hare, one of three. Oops, there goes Ruth. All right, uh, I'm not gonna pull these out, but you know, we've done some Swanson pieces. They're beautiful, back and front. Might as well show the whole body. All right, next little, oh, here's the Ruth Hogan. It's the Easter, All right, that's Easter. We also have another one in there. Let's come over here, Jane Winter. I love this piece, unusual. It's called Water Museum number 10. Oh, uh, here's the other Ruth Hogan. Christmas, Robinson at Christmas. Again, I hope I'm not getting a glare. Beautiful one, Provincetown Crow, Sally Brophy. Quite a few white line will buff prints. The master herself, Kathy Lee Smith. Beautiful, can't speak highly enough of that. As well as the big one that we have, which is just a masterpiece. Ross Moffat, one of three. Again, unsigned. Clearly Ross Moffat, beautiful colors. I will talk to you more if you want to inquire about the provenance. Uh, Warren Sawyer. It's called By Board with Spike. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so this goes with a lot of two. I don't have the other one, it's smaller, but this is a Judith Fulmer. The other one is smaller, it's a landscape that goes with it. This is a great piece, popular. Um, I forget, I think he was in Venezuela, might have been the right place. This is also a Swanson. All right, like that one. Uh, Nancy Nicole, I think is it? It's beautiful. Yeah, Nancy Nicole. All right, coming over here, let's do this carefully. This is the other Ross Moffat, one of the other two. Beautiful Ohio Barn, it's a monoprint with this great, amazing letter from Josephine Del Deo describing what's well, basically a certificate of authenticity for it. It's a fabulous thing. All right, uh, Farnham, I forget which Farnham, is it Henry Farnham? I'm not sure, but it, it's early, obviously. Beautiful. Um, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Adele Rogers, great early piece again. We're hitting the, this might even be late 19th, I forget. Um, fantastic pieces. All right, so we're going into some pieces that were, um, excuse me, are benefiting the Provincetown Arts Society. So the profits of the hammer are going to the Provincetown Arts Society, Mary Heaton Bors House. This is Jim Broussard, beautiful. Charles DiCarlo, great lighthouse. <laughs> Again, another Provincetown, no, it's not, uh, it's E.C. Clark, I forget what the E.C. is. It is 1930, early. I knew you loved those June scenes. And we got a few, Glass Old Cox Murphy. It is called Snail Road, Back Beach. She is the wife of William Maynard. Uh, all right. Just FYI, um, this piece, some of you bid on, it is not in the auction any longer. Um, we will be re-offering it later at another date. Foley and ran early. Mm -hmm. 
All right, here's this John Warp I just posted. Uh, Jim just posted. You can't get a better Provincetown scene by John Warp. Uh, if this wasn't all foxed, I can't even imagine how much it would be worth, but it has got lots of foxing, makes it all the more charming, and guess what? You can get a steal and, and a John Warp. All right, George Yader. <clears throat> This was in a show curated by Bob Bailey at the Problem Town Art Association called The Boys from Indiana. It is called Drifting Ice Flows, as in F-L-O-E-S. He spelled it weird. <laughs> All right. Um, this is uh, Richard Blass. Again, early. It is probably, what do I have? 1924, called Way Down Along. It's Commercial Street. Love that style. And all right, this is, I'll show you both. I'll bring the other one out. So this is uh, Jason Berger, 1978. Um, it is the study for, and here I go, give me a second while I pull it out. Watercolor study for this painting, okay? 1978 again. Put this back here carefully. And Carl Canass. It's one of his famous uh, lithograph, hand colored lithographs. Uh, it's sort of play your piano. It was a Christmas card. A lot of them are actually um, when we have them inscribed to other people. I'm going to keep going here. Jeff Jones. Saw it in my stroll today. Fabulous piece. Fabulous. I mean, gosh. Couldn't love that. Uh, James Floyd Climber. And gonna do one more. And then we'll come back tomorrow, okay? Again, showed you this in a stroll last week. This is just a fantastic piece. It is, you know, it's not necessarily a mudhead, but it's definitely a portrait. It's one of those that was found in Pearl Street in 2005. Uh, it was used as construction material, so. I mean, it just, I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this. So, okay, that's it. I'm going to try to do four more strolls this week, cover all the paintings so you get to see them all. Be sure to check them out on social media and in your stroll, excuse me, email that will be coming later this week. Okay, thanks. Bye.